CataractCoach.com. Uveated cataract with a pupillary membrane. So learn some techniques for success in this tough case. Now here's the patient. You can see there's a membrane there in the pupil. So this is using the caps rexus forceps or other small forceps to try to peel off that membrane. And you can almost do like a membrane or rexus. You can almost tear it just like you would a capsule rexus when you grab it and get a hold of it and go around. Now, after that's done, you can see the surgeon already placed iris hooks. And now let's look at the nucleus here. It's a pretty dense nucleus. Uh, Tripan blue dye is good. Put that inside the eye. There we go. And then here's more viscoelastic. And now getting a rexus done. Pretty dense cataract. So patient really waited a long time. Now, in a uveated eye, remember, these eyes have chronic inflammation inside the eye. That can lead to zonular weakness. It can lead to a higher rate of cystoid macular edema after surgery. It can be prolonged inflammation after surgery. So this is a tough case. I do like the large caps rexus with a dense nucleus, no baby rexus. Plus, remember, you can get synechiae of the iris to the lens capsule. But you're not likely to get synechiae from the iris to the surface of, let's say, a hydrophobic acrylic lens. So if you can get a nice large rexus, you can help prevent future synechiae. So here's a chop technique. Wow, good density. You can see the chop didn't go all the way through, which is typical in these dense cataracts with that leathery posterior plate. So another chop, that's pretty good. You see it didn't quite separate. Another chop, very nice technique here. I also do like the iris hooks. Let's see, it gives you a little more flexibility than just a pupil expansion ring and really gives good access here. And so for these eyes, I like to make sure the uveitis is pretty quiet and well-controlled for at least a few months prior to surgery. You really want these eyes pretty well cleared, at least an anterior chamber cell. Now, some of these patients will always chronically have some degree of anterior chamber flare, and you may just have to still do your cataract surgery. There are other things we can do also to minimize inflammatory response post-op, such as um, putting in more um, steroids in the eye. You saw the surgeon just did a recoat of viscoelastic with endothelium. I like that idea. Very smart. Because obviously with a dense cataract like this, you're going to be putting in a lot more inflammation. Now, would you do MSICS instead of fake in this case? You could, I suppose. But you may have actually a little less inflammation here with smaller incisions. Maybe it'll ease your time healing compared to the larger incision of SICS. But again, either would be appropriate. And so, yeah, at the end of the case, in a case like this, I would put in preserved free triamcinolone in the anterior chamber. Maybe if you wanted to in the vitreous cavity, but for sure also in the subtenon space. That's in addition to the topical um, steroids that you give the patient in the post-op period. So again, making good progress here on that nucleus. And again, the key is just taking your time. It's going to be chop, chop, and more chop. That's what you got to do. You just got to be patient here. And you can see now it looks really quite good. Lots of chops going in. There's more viscoelastic, another recode. Notice how some of the viscoelastic also was injected behind the nucleus. Very smart. Just to keep the posterior capsule back, make sure it doesn't come near the phaco tip. And obviously more was injected on top of the, the nucleus so to protect the coin endothelium. So that's been a couple different recodes here of the uh, um, uh, viscoelastic, which is great. Very smart move there. Last few pieces are coming out now. Be cautious because that capsule bag may flop around. There's usually not much cortex in these eyes to hold the bag uh, back. Here you go. Cortex removal. Again, very little cortex. And then now uh, we'll get the lens in. So again, good, good idea to make a big rexus in this case so you don't get sneaky. Now you still want to have, if you can, overlap of the optic. But again, do not end up with a baby rexus. It makes a nucleus very difficult to remove with a um, dense nucleus and a small rexus. Here's the lens. Yep, looks like a nice acrylic lens there. Get that open up in the capsule bag, and the patient's going to have a brain ass outcome. Again, I would give patients extra triamcinolone. Here we go, taking out the hooks. I like the idea of taking out the hooks prior to removing the viscoelastic. There we go. You can take those out nice and easy. And then um, watch the patient carefully in the post-op period. Again, higher incidence of CME, cystoid macular edema, in these eyes because of the prior uveitis. And then again, they may have a, a prolonged inflammatory response after the surgery, which we can take care of. Beautiful surgery. Thank you for submitting this. And keep these pearls in mind when you have a similar case. Oh, there's a steroid. Look at that.